I'm 15 and running for class president. In a basement, I have a roll of blank labels, some Sharpies, two best friends, and a big rack CD on loop. In this moment, I know that as long as I have a small community around me, I will feel confident going into the unknown. I'm 19. I've fallen in love with architecture, and I find my way to a show called Massive Change. Its message, connecting design and social impact, echoes the voices in my head. It gives me the confidence to bring these voices out of my head and into the world. I'm 23 and an aspiring architect. I get a call from the city of Toronto saying they have some money for me to do a public art project in a priority neighborhood. It's decided that we'll use the money to see what would change if kids were invited to design buildings. In this moment, I know that the way communities engage in their built environment is about to change. I'm 24. I'm an organization of one trying to convince people that I have ideas that can change our city. I get a call from OCAD University inviting me to teach. I become the youngest faculty member at the school. I realize that being an expert isn't the only way to make change happen. I'm 27. I'm standing alongside kids, social workers, my team, a community, architects and planners. We are about to cut the ribbon on a building that the kids have designed. In this moment, I know that I will always have to look for the most unlikely allies to come together to create transformative change. I didn't know it at the time, but these moments were collectively giving me a dynamic set of skills needed for a profession that wasn't yet realized. These moments were training me to become a city builder.